Okay, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Uh, today's video is going to be very different. A while ago, I put out a post uh, on my YouTube community tab saying, do you guys want to see a settings guide? I get asked in my comments pretty much every video, uh, a variety of questions about all my different settings. So um, I'm going to try and go through that step by step today, go through my PC settings, my peripherals, my in-game settings, what I run in my computer, my specs and uh, try and give you guys what is, in my opinion, the best setup to have for PC Destiny to get the best input, uh, least input delay, least it lag, you know, all that all that good stuff. So firstly, we're gonna start off with peripherals. Uh, for my gaming mouse, I do use a Logitech Superlite or Pro X Superlite, uh, and I change the mouse feet. So these are not the stock feet anymore. The stock feet on this mouse are white PTFE, so it's a great material, but I found they were a bit too thin. Uh, they're about 0.2 millimeters thick, so I replaced these with uh, the core pads for the ProX Superlight, which are 0.8 millimeters thick, and the the back of these top glides are rounded, and it, I just find it's a bit smoother on the pad, so I have changed the feet, but yeah, ProX Superlight is the gaming mouse I'm using. Uh, I'm using an Ampro 2 keyboard, I'm not sure if you can really see. It is a 60% keyboard. Um, I have two PCs, so I can justify using a 60% keyboard. I don't need a numpad. I don't need arrow keys because I'm pretty much only playing the game on this PC. But uh, I do have a full-size keyboard for my streaming PC. But we'll we'll try and keep this focused on the gaming stuff. Uh, yeah, I use Kalebox Brown switches, some Taihao. Uh, I think it's called the Forest keycap set with some rubberized keycaps on one, two, three, four, W, A, S, and D. Uh, just because I like the way they feel. I'm not sure if you can really see in the camera. But you, you can. But these keycaps are different pretty much. And they are made of a different texture. They are rubber. Um, the mouse pad I use is an Artisan FX Series Zero. Soft, extra large. Uh, I bought it from Japan. They are quite hard to get a hold of. But it's the best mouse pad I've ever used by a long way. I love it. Uh, and then for a backup pad, if I happen to be washing my Artisan mouse pad, I use a Zowie GSR SE. Uh, I, I don't have it out right now because I'm not using it. But uh, yeah, the all blue one, I'll put a picture on the screen, I'm sure. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it for peripherals. Oh, my monitor, I use a Zowie X, XL2540, 240Hz, 24.5 inch monitor. Uh, I love it. It's great. I always saw it being used a lot in like the Counter-Strike scene in esports. Uh, I picked one up a while back and yeah, I love I love the monitor. No complaints at all. Uh, but yeah, I am playing on 240 hertz. So uh, yeah, that's about it with the peripherals. We will move on to some settings I have on my main PC before we dive into the game. Okay, so first thing I guess where we'll start on the PC is firstly, whilst I'm using my Logitech mouse, if I go into the G Hub, you'll be able to see my DPI installing some sort of update. But uh, I do have all my other DPIs disabled, and the only DPI that is active on my mouse is 400. So I dragged all the other ones off the slider. I'll show you once the software decides to boot. Um, I've I've played 400 DPI since I started playing Counter Strike, which is it generally benefits you to have a lower sensitivity in that game uh, as aiming is very important. You have small hitboxes, people swing fast, you do have to be very precise. Uh, and I just kind of stuck with it. 400's always worked great for me. Uh, a lot of people like playing 800 and then halving their in-game sense so their mouse is faster in the menus. But for me, I'm completely fine with 400. I'm not limited by desk space, which definitely could be a limitation for you. So, I mean, it is going to depend on your setup to an extent, but I have I have plenty of space. I have this whole range of motion, so 400 DPI works fine for me. Uh, and as you can see, 400 DPI is the only one I have set. I never change it for any reason. I've, I'm just always on 400. First thing we're going to do is hop into our settings. Firstly, we're going to go to mouse. So type in mouse in your Windows bar. Open up your mouse settings. We're going to go to additional mouse options in the top right. It should give you a pop out. Uh, we are on six uh, Windows sensitivity, which is the default. I recommend leaving this in the middle. Uh, if you ever watch, if you ever ask a streamer, you see a pro player, give their setup and stuff like that, and it just says DPI and in-game, it is pretty much always safe to assume that this sensitivity is left on six. So I would I would keep this on six. There's no real reason to change it. Uh, what we are going to do, though, is go to pointer options. Here it is. Sorry, this is, this is where it should be on six uh, in the pointer options menu. Uh, and I want to make sure enhanced pointer precision is off. Uh, some people 
play with it on. I played with it on without knowing for a pretty long time when I first swapped to PC. But what this effectively is, is Windows built-in mouse acceleration. Uh, if you don't know what mouse acceleration is, pretty much if I move my mouse 10 inches to the right, I will always turn the same distance. If I do it very slowly or I do it very fast, I will always turn the same distance. Whereas with this enabled, with mouse acceleration on, the velocity at which you move will have an effect on how much you turn. So it's not only, oh, I know I move my mouse this far to turn this far. It also adds another variable, meaning the speed you move your mouse um, will also impact how you're turning in game and how the game responds to that feedback. You can do it. Uh, there is some incredible pro players that do it. Zantares is a, is a Counter-Strike professional who plays with mouse acceleration on, and his aim is phenomenal. Um, I would recommend having it off for most players, unless you've played with it for a very long time and you've built that muscle memory. But in general, it is just another variable adding to your aim, and I do recommend turning it off. Uh, but yeah, I mean, sensitivity stuff is all a preference thing at the end of the day. But uh, yeah, I play with mouse acceleration off personally. Uh, people ask about my pointer a lot. So what I've done, I changed my normal select. Uh, if you go to browse, I think it's crosshair RL or something. Yeah, cross RL or cross RM or something is the pointer I use. It's just, I don't know. I've, I've had this one for a while. I like it. Um, so that is what we're rocking with. But yeah, we are going to check out some of the game files to see... Uh, some stuff you can change then we'll hop into the game and i'll show you all my stuff okay so before we launch the game there is one thing i forgot so what i want you to do is go to your steam find destiny 2 you're going to hit the settings option on the far right you can kind of see my mouse just above my camera uh hit manage hit properties uh we'll move this over to make sure you can see it we're going to go to local files and browse this is going to enable us to see exactly where our destiny 2 is saved you want to go to the Destiny 2 application uh, and right click it. You want to make sure you left click it first so it's actually highlighted and then right click it. This will completely change the options. So make sure you left click it first. Uh, we're going to hop into properties. We are going to go to compatibility. Uh, and what I want to make sure you check is disable full screen optimizations. Uh, this is something that is off by default. I turn it on all the time. Uh, this pretty much is going to reduce input lag uh probably increase performance but definitely reduce input lag so i will do it to make make sure i have the most responsive game and most responsive experience possible i would highly recommend turning this on the only downside to it is when you alt tab so if you're playing the game you only have one computer you're playing the game you want to go out of the game to look at something on google or discord or something it will probably take like a half a second, a second longer to do that alt tab, but I think it's completely worth it as the gameplay experience benefits from it. So I'd highly recommend turning that on, uh, hitting apply. Obviously, I already have it on, so I can't apply uh, and then OK. Uh, and then, yeah, you can feel free to relaunch the game. But when you're doing that, make sure your game is closed. All right. So next, we're going to do something that a lot of people probably don't know is possible. Uh, what we're going to do is dive into the game files. So it's pretty much like your in-game settings, but we're going to the actual file where Destiny saved on your computer. There is a couple extra options you can use in there which don't show up in game. Uh, I haven't done this in a while. I did it a long time ago, so I can't really remember how you do it. I think it's percent app data percent. Yeah, perfect. You're going to want to type that into the Windows bar. We're going to open up this file. Uh, we're going to go to Bungie. We're going to go to Destiny PC uh, prefs. And there'll be two files. Well, there might be two files. Depends if you've ever changed your CVARs. But what we want is the active CVARs. It is an XML document. We're going to right click this. We're going to open it up with notepad. And there is two things we're looking for in here. So if you hit control F, you'll get a search bar. Uh, firstly, we're going to look for the term low. Oh, we need to look down. Search for the term low. And there you go. It will highlight it. So low latency mode I do have on zero. Uh, that should just reduce input delay, input lag, uh, which people didn't actually know was a thing. I think it was beyond light when it got added. Maybe it was a bit before then. But uh, I'd go ahead and turn that off. And the other thing we're looking for is smoothing. Uh, there you go. Mouse smoothing mode. This is effectively aim smoothing. This did get enabled by default, I think, in Beyond Light as well. So you're going to want to go into this file and make sure you change the value there to zero as well. Uh, and then we're good to save that file. We can close out of it. As make sure you save it. And uh, yeah, now we're going to hop into the game and look at some other settings. One more thing I forgot to change. Um... 
or I forgot to say before we go into the game, what we're going to do is right click on the desktop, open up the NVIDIA control panel, uh, and I'll show you the color stuff I personally do to tweak my game uh, if it wants to open. I know sometimes it's a bit awkward with opening if you've closed it recently, so we'll make sure we close the process. NVIDIA control panel, end task. Now we should be good to open it. Uh, so I do personally play with my digital vibrance maxed out completely. So I play 1920 by 1080 because I am on a 1080p monitor, not a 1440p. And I'm playing at the 240 refresh rate. Uh, make sure you set this refresh rate to what you're actually running. You are going to be wanting to use a display port cable uh, between your graphics card and your monitor, not an HDMI. HDMI won't unlock those frame rates above like 60 hertz, which is putting you at a massive disadvantage straight away. Um... You won't see 4K Pro here. That's just my gaming PC going to my capture card so I can get it on my streaming PC and you guys can see it. Uh, what we're going to do, though, is go to the Manage 3D Settings option, I believe it is. Uh, a lot of these settings quite advanced. I believe I have it set up the least input delay, the least input lag. Uh, feel free to look at mine uh, if you're curious. But this is what I have it on. I don't think I've really tweaked this that much since I got my PC. Um, and yeah, so desktop color settings. I do personally play with my digital vibrance maxed out. Uh, it just makes colors pop a bit more. Some people think the game looks a bit uglier. I personally prefer the way it looks. Um, this is plus 50 by default, which is normal. And then I pretty much double my colors, uh, on my monitor. I like doing it that way. Uh, but that is a personal preference thing. Um, I'm trying to think if there is anything else in here we need to be looking at. I don't think there is. I think we're good. Oh, I also have my image settings on max performance. So this, I think, by default is on let the 3D application decide. I changed it to use my preference and moved it all the way over to performance. And that is what I'm rocking with. So uh, as you can see in the middle of the screen, Evolve, uh, I want to take now as a opportunity to give a huge shout out to Evolve. I'm going to show a video of my personal uh, custom PC I got through Evolve. This is not a sponsored video, but I am sponsored by them. I'm not getting paid to promote this. I, uh, I do genuinely love the brand, love the products. I'm sure a lot of you guys know Triple. Uh, Triple Rec, he's a really good friend of mine. He founded Evolve, uh, hence his absence from uh, content recently. But yeah, I'll play a video of my PC on, stream on the screen now. You can see it. It is beautiful. And uh, I will, I guess, leave all the specs in the description below. Um, and yeah, if you want to see my hardware, I am... I'm, I'm rocking a very beefy computer, so if you see my FPS in game, these these settings and tips I'm telling you, they're not going to get you these like FPS like this. I'm rocking a RTX 3090 graphics card. I have an i7 10700K CPU. Um, so yeah, I have a monster computer. Uh, huge shout out to Evolve. Okay, so we are now inside the game. I guess we'll load up on the Hunter uh, and we'll go to the settings. Firstly, we're going to start on the keyboard and mouse. I play with eight in-game sensitivity. Uh, I'm going to turn my camera off for this because I know it'll be blocking some stuff. Uh, I play with my in-game sensitivity at eight. And as we've already covered, I'm on a 400 DPI with six window sensitivity and mouse acceleration off. Uh, I play with a 1080s sensitivity modifier. This used to be called 1.0. Uh, they removed the decimal place after swapping from Battle.net to Steam, but this is the equivalent of, of a 1, what it used to be. Uh, it's now called 10, but this is the 1.0. Um, aim smoothing's in-game setting is off. Uh, and then we'll go to keybind. So W to move forward, pretty basic. A left, S for backwards, D for right, W-A-S-D. Uh, finisher as well, I'm sure you guys don't really watch me play PvE, but I do uh, I do hit G to finish. Uh, my emote 1 is bound different to my other emotes. Uh, that is because I'm on a 60% keyboard, so I do not have arrow keys. So I have emote on B, uh, and I can hit it with my thumb. That pretty much means I only have one emote option at all times, which I'm fine with. I try not to emote in PvP because I'm not a scumbag. So uh, there is that. Return to orbit, oh, pretty basic. Fire on left click, I would recommend never changing that. Reload is R, melee is mouse button 4. So I have two buttons on the side of my ProX Superlight. The one that's closer to me, I use for melee. Uh, my zoom is on hold, not toggle. I highly recommend playing hold. Uh, light attack, left click, heavy attack, right click. This uh, 
This is mainly a thing in supers. For example, left click on a shade binder, shoots the orbs out, right click detonates, or uh, left click does the big punch on Behemoth, right click does the slam to make the crystals. Uh, yeah, left and right click, I would definitely recommend keeping those. Block is kind of what's ever whatever whatever is comfortable to you. I can't talk. Uh, I hit it with my thumb and press C, but like I said, I don't really use saws that often. Um, if you're doing Vault of Glass, this is what you need when you're holding the relic and stuff like that. So make sure block is somewhere that you can actually hit, but not, you know, you don't want it on like E right next to your arrow keys, right? Because you're not going to be hitting it that often. Uh, jump, I do have bound to space bar. I also have it bound to scroll wheel down. So I move my mouse wheel down to jump. I use the down scroll wheel probably more often than the space bar. Uh, that's a habit I have from Counter-Strike uh, and Apex Legends. You know how you bunny hop if you're timing those jumps. So uh, having it on scroll wheel down allows you to pretty much spam the input multiple times. So it's much easier to get the timing to hit the next bunny hop. Uh, as if you, you know, you're doing a long scroll of your wheel down, you're pretty much hitting the jump key uh, like eight times within that short time frame. So I do have that on scroll wheel down. I use toggle sprint. Uh, people ask me about this a lot. I'm on toggle instead of hold for the sprint, but then I'm on hold instead of toggle for the crouch. Don't really know why. This is what's comfortable to me. Uh, I find with hold crouch, it's a lot easier to sometimes teabag spam when you're in a gunfight. Uh, if you're strafing, spamming crouch a little bit, it can throw your opponent off. So this is left control. I hit with my pinky finger. Um, and yeah, that's just the way I like playing. Uh, class ability is on E. Uh, so that's always pretty easy to press as my index finger rests on D, my middle finger rests on W, so I can hit E with either of those uh, pretty comfortably. Air move is on V. I do hit V with my thumb when I'm playing Dawnblade. That's just for Icarus Dash, and I also use it when I'm playing Revenant to shatter dive. Uh, v seems really easy for me to press because my space bar, uh, my thumb is normally resting on my space bar, so I can quite easily reach V. Uh, interact is on F, grenade is on my other side button, so the one that is closer to the mouse buttons, further away from my palm. That's very comfortable to me, that's what I've always used. Uh, super is on Q, stasis breakout is on scroll wheel up, so I have scroll wheel down for jump, scroll wheel up to break out of stasis. Uh, I do use 1 and 2 for my kinetic and energy weapons, a lot of people ask me about this. I, I have quite big hands, I don't have an issue reaching up to the 1 and 2 keys to swap weapons. Um, and I also do not rebind it. So what a lot of people do is they'll use a kinetic primary, an energy special weapon, and one and two is... So one is primary, two is special. Uh, and then if they swap to, say, a sunshot and an eye of soul, right? So you have a kinetic special and an energy primary, then what they would do is swap these over so it doesn't throw them off. They always know that their special weapon is on two and their energy is on... or their primary is on one. I personally don't do this. I try and just remember what I'm using, but that's definitely a good option for some people. Uh, switch to power weapon. I have middle mouse. So we have three binds on the mouse wheel now. I have wheel down for jump, wheel up for stasis breakout, and I click the middle mouse in, which is called mouse three. To swap to my power weapon. That's what I like doing. Uh, works fine for me. Uh, and then I don't think anything else here really matters that much. So yeah, that's all my key binds and sensitivity stuff. Uh, we'll hop into the video settings in a second. Okay, so to the video settings, we are always going to be on full screen mode here. Uh, this is definitely the way to do it, in my opinion. I do play native resolution. I would never stretch Destiny 2. I don't think there's any need to at all. I have VSync off. My frame rate capture is off because I normally use the NVIDIA GeForce Experience frame rate counter. I think it looks a bit cleaner. I can reposition it to the top left where I prefer it. Uh, but, you know, an in-game frame rate counter is uh, is going to do the trick just fine as well. Uh, I play with my field of view maximized at a 105. I think taking as much information in as I possibly can works the best for me. Uh, some people lower it a little bit. I know Grenada Jake plays on a lower field of view. I think it helps because he plays on both console and PC, and it is a lot easier to adjust for him, uh, which makes complete sense. Uh my personal preference, I like 105 field of view. I know most top players all play 105 field of view uh, because there is far, far more pros to it than there is cons. Um, I would recommend playing 105, but whatever's comfortable for you, maybe a little bit lower might might be that sweet spot for you. 
Uh, screen bounds. So I get asked about this a lot. I actually play with my screen bounds not on the edges of my screen like this. I play with them as close in as they possibly can be. Uh, that's because I don't want to move my eyes as far to gather the information so I can very quickly look up at my radar, for example, or I can very quickly see how fast I am to a super without having to look all the way to the edge of the screen. It will only make a tiny bit of difference. It is split seconds we're talking, but it can help. Um, with a game like Destiny where the radar... I, I spend about 50% of my time in PvP looking at the middle of my screen and the other 50% looking at radar. Uh, you should be looking at your radar all the time, so... Uh, I like having it closer to the center, personally. Brightness. Uh, I do play on max brightness in-game, but just be aware, this is completely dependent on the settings you have on your monitor as well. So, you know, your monitor brightness could be all the way down so that your in-game brightness is all the way up. You're actually on a normal brightness or vice versa. So, uh, I play on 7 in-game, but this is going to depend on your monitor and your hardware as well. Uh, we're going to go to the advanced video settings. Graphics quality is on custom. That's because I pretty much play with everything on the lowest apart from textures on highest so that the weapons look good in first person. Uh, but we'll go through all of them. Anti-aliasing is off. If you don't know what this does, it pretty much like smooths the edges of certain objects. Uh, it does make the game look a bit smoother, but it will hurt your performance a little bit. Uh, screen space ambient occlusion is off. Texture anisotropy is off. Text quality highest so that Things look good in the first person, as we were saying. Uh, it just makes the models a bit better. Uh, shadow quality lowest, depth of field off, everything everything lowest or off, pretty much as low as it can be to give me the best performance. Uh, I do play with 100% render resolution. If you're really struggling for PC performance, the single thing that is going to help your performance the most is probably lowering your render res. But this is the thing that will make your game look really, really bad. So uh, I would try and keep it as high as you can, as close to 100%. I never go above 100%. There's no need. Um, but uh, yeah, I play on 100%. I, my PC can handle it. This is kind of relative to your hardware once again. Um, HDR off. Chromatic aberration off. And film grain off. Everything everything there is off or the lowest. Uh, I don't want to cover the sound settings too much because this is completely dependent on uh, if you have a mixer, you have a mix amp, how high you have that turned up, what your Windows stuff is. I personally play with the in-game music off, but that's pretty much the only thing relevant here. Uh, one note, recently I've been using earbuds. Uh, I know my YouTube videos, I don't use a face cam that often anymore. But on stream, I get asked all the time why I use Apple earbuds. Uh, I do have a nice Sennheiser headset, which you would have seen in a lot of my older videos. And I was using them for a long time. Uh, I do still use it sometimes. It pretty much depends on the game I'm playing. I personally find earbuds really comfortable and in a game like Destiny where audio cues aren't very important, uh, you know, I just, I wear these to be comfy. Um, I can still hear the game, but I'm not listening for audio cues. I'm not trying to hear specific footsteps and stuff. So headphones work great for me. Uh, but if I play a different game, if I play Counter-Strike, well, pretty much any other game, like Counter-Strike, any sort of Battle Royale, Apex, Fortnite, uh, Call of Duty, whatever, I will put a different headset in. And, uh, and then be playing off audio a bit more. But yeah, I'm using just Apple earbuds when I play Destiny at the moment. I go through phases. Sometimes I'm about the headset. Sometimes I'm about earbuds. Currently, I'm in an earbud phase. So yeah. Uh, the last page of settings. I don't think there's that much that's going to impact the game here. Uh, I leave my HUD on full. Some people put it on high. I have mine on full. I don't think it's ever really going to be covering stuff or be in the way of stuff. Subtitles I have off, colorblind mode I have off, reticle location, definitely what you want is PC default. Uh, that will be right in the middle of your screen around here, whereas console default is actually, it's in the middle, but on the lower third, so it's about here. Uh, especially if you're playing at a higher frame rate, you want that smack bang in the middle, you want that PC default, so I'd highly recommend swapping to that. Uh, I get asked about my reticle color quite a lot, actually, because I have a black one. Um... That's mainly to fit all my branding stuff. I find that where my reticle is positioned in Destiny isn't a big thing. Uh, a very common term in FPS games is crosshair placement, uh, or you might hear centering, which is a similar, it's a similar concept, but normally more of a controller player concept. But I don't think crosshair placement is ever a big deal in this game. Um, Unless, I guess, using a dead man's tail on PC. 
uh, where you are hip firing all the time. But I, I, I don't struggle finding where the center of my screen is. I don't use my hip fire reticle to help me aim in any way. So I have it left on black, but you can, this is all preference. You can have it on whatever you want it on. Um, but yeah, I, I don't find where I am aiming hip fire is ever going to really impact the game that much. Uh, I'm pretty much always ADS if I'm looking to take a fight, so it has it has little to no impact for me. Uh, and then all of this stuff, none of this is relevant to gameplay. This is all just uh, this is all just preference stuff. Uh, so yeah, I think we covered everything. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'll answer as much as I can. This is the this is the stuff I found is best for me. Uh, this is what works for me. This is how I like playing the game. But there, a lot of this stuff is down to preference, right? So take this is my guide to it but take it as you will tweak it make sure you uh you find what works for you uh in the future i do want to do a video that's more about in-game level stuff um so we'll be going through hunter builds what exotics what mods what perks i use on specific subclasses and stuff like that but i get asked about that all the time uh so we'll be sure to do that a more in-game level of settings and builds and loadouts but this is my very raw uh, PC settings guide. I hope it helped in any way. Uh, I know some of the tips aren't very well known, like going into the CVARS file, full screen optimizations and stuff like that. So I do hope it helps. Uh, if you enjoyed, be sure to drop a subscription on the channel. We've been grinding. Uh, we hit 20K recently after like six months of uploads, which is insane to me. Uh, leave a thumbs up on the video. Let me know in the comments what you want to see. Uh, any more questions, I will be... I try to be active in all my comment sections, but on this one, I'll definitely be monitoring it, trying to help with any questions you guys might have. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I appreciate you and peace.